September is Pulmonary Fibrosis Awareness Month. We are here with Dr. Shelley Schmidt to talk about that subject. So why don't we start with what is pulmonary fibrosis? Well, pulmonary fibrosis means scarring in the lung. There are a variety of different causes to pulmonary fibrosis that can lead to that scarring. If we think about if you get a cut on your hand, how it gets red and swollen, that inflammation can also happen in the lung. And when it inflames the lung and it gets swollen, the lungs get stiff making it difficult to breathe. And just like a scar on your hand, if it doesn't heal properly or the cut is too large, ultimately it will scar. That can also happen in the lung where the inflammation scars. And when that happens, we call it pulmonary fibrosis. Mm -hmm. How do you diagnose this? Diagnosing pulmonary fibrosis is very complicated and requires multiple subspecialists to help. It also requires a lot of information from the patient. The pulmonologist quarterbacks collecting this information and can include lung function testing, blood testing, specialized CT scans, lung tissue sampling or fluid sampling from scoping procedures called bronchoscopy, or ultimately we may need an actual piece of tissue, a surgical lung biopsy from a thoracic surgeon. The pulmonologist brings this data together and here at Spectrum Health, we're fortunate to have what we refer to as a multidisciplinary interstitial lung disease conference, which is the American Thoracic Society recommendation to have many doctors who come together to discuss each case one by one, bringing all of that information together with lung doctors, the radiology doctors who specialize in the x-rays, and the pathology doctors who specialize in looking at the tissue in order to come up with a joint diagnosis and treatment regimen for the patient.